Okay. All right. Emily, you're all set? Can go ahead and start right now? Yeah, right Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Good. Emily Kennard. I'm Emily, I'm Nikki Garza. Nikki, yeah, nice to finally seat. meet you. I know Thank we've you. been discussing emails back and forth. Um, thank yeah. you so much for taking the time to meet with yeah, me as no well. Um, I wanted to go ahead and give you my business card. That'd be great. So if you have any further questions, just go ahead and reach out to me. Absolutely. Um, so, as you know, Raphael did reach out to me and he discussed his interest in um, our cloud-based management system. Um, and so he mentioned you would be the perfect person to talk to about it since you are the manager of the spa and salon. So again, thank you for taking the time to meet with me. How are you enjoying your stay so far in Orlando? Fast and furious. A lot of traffic. Oh, yeah. Right? A lot of stuff to do, a lot of tourist stuff. Um, and the Orlando Eye is pretty cool, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Now, how is the trade conference going so far? Busy, right? There's a lot of different products and everyone's trying to sell you something, but it's good so far. Right. So are you headed back to Cuba right after? Yeah, I think Don't I'll be tomorrow time, morning. Huh? Yeah, tomorrow morning. All right, well, I wanted to learn a little bit about you. So how did you get into the industry? Um, God, that's funny. I just kind of fell into it. I uh, started working at a resort, got promoted, started running the spa and salon. Uh, met Raphael, and he kind of brought me over to, to his resort. And um, we're just kind of trying to button things up in Cuba. Okay, great. So you never were a stylist beforehand? No. no okay. No, no, no. Did you have yeah. any management experience? Yeah, you know, I mean, um, I, I had small teams I led. And, we're you know, we're really focused more at our resort on... Um, the massage therapy side of it. Okay. That's our biggest ticket item. Great. The, uh, the other services we offer are just uh, additional add-ons to retail for us. That's exciting. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Well, like I said, I know we have 15 minutes, so I don't want to take up too much of your time. Um, you know, Rafi, I mentioned that I'd explain our product and services mm -hmm. to you. We discuss some of your <coughs> needs, and then from there, if everything sounds good, we'll schedule an appointment with Rafael. Sure. Okay. Um, I'm going to take some notes during this yeah, meeting, absolutely. if that's all right. So I know Raphael mentioned his interest in the cloud-based system, but what is important to you in choosing a management software? Yeah, so I think it's multi-dimensional, right? It shouldn't just solve one thing. I think um, it should really be appropriate to help us go to a couple of different business solutions. Definitely. Um, and as the manager of the spa and salon, what are your responsibilities? What are some of the main things that you're in charge of? You know, manage the business side, right? Which is um, income, revenue, um, efficiencies, staffing, operations, and then really kind of think through engaging our guests and getting our guests to come in and, and book packages with us and try to sell them um, additional services as well too. Definitely. I'm sure, and especially with the huge trade influx that's about to come, I'm sure you guys are yeah, trying to prepare for Yeah, so that's that. why we're, you know, we're getting ready. We want to really be nimble and agile to engage um, what we anticipate to be a pretty, pretty robust flow of tourism. Have you guys been doing anything trying to prepare for that? Yeah, on the resort side, you know, Malia is a big brand, right? So. Um, on the resort side, they, uh, they've got a whole brand marketing campaign ready to launch okay. as soon as it's ready to go. So I'm sure that we'll, uh, it'll be comprehensive and specific to each resort at the same time as well. Oh, wow. That's great. I'm glad you guys are doing a lot to prepare for that. It's going to be a really exciting time for you guys. And um, So I want to learn more about the salon and spa side of things. Um, so how many are on your staff? So at um, the resort I work at, there's uh, myself, and we have a support person, and then uh, six six or seven, depending on seasonality, massage therapist. So anywhere from eight to ten people. Okay, total? Mm-hmm. Alrighty. Um, that's a decent size, size staff. Um, how do you schedule their um, the appointments? The support person or, does it. Okay, yeah, so you have some pretty manual. You know, we, you. we may use like a spreadsheet or okay. a basic database, but we use an appointment setter. Um, so just really kind of do it internally in-house. Okay. Do, do you know if that ever gets um, overwhelming or if things ever get mixed up? Oh, yeah, I'm sure. Right? Depends. I mean, I'm sure there's days where it's really easy to manage because we're slow, and there's other weeks or months where it's super busy and it's overwhelming. And then you got to deal with the guest feedback as well, too, right? Oh, yeah. That's huge. Now, if you had a software that managed everything, um, you know, all in one centralized system, made things a little bit easier, maybe just a click here and there to schedule appointments, would that be something that could Much be helpful easier. for you? Yeah, I think... Uh, you know, that's what we're kind of looking for, like I said earlier, right? It's going to be a multi-dimensional business solution. I think that's that's part of it as well, too. That's one of the, probably the, the premier thing we want to work on is becoming more efficient, driving more business and Efficiency. being more flexible for the guest. Definitely. Um, okay. So, you know, I know you mentioned guests are number one. So do you ever experience long waits or anything when you get so many guests coming in? Your staff's busy. You're busy. Is there any ever long waits or... Yeah, sometimes. I mean, I think it, it can be um, 
long waits and then also really having being able to have the flexibility and adaptability to meet the guest's need, right? Because they're on vacation, so it's not like they want to just come in any time during the day. It's usually early in the morning or later in the afternoon, and then the middle of the day is the compression time where we're slow, so uh, we'd really like to fill that gap. Definitely. You want to fill the middle of the day gap mm -hmm. because that's the slow part. Okay. Um, now... How are you currently scheduling appointments? Now, people are on vacation. Are they normally, do you get a lot of walk-ins or would you say they call and make the appointment? <clears throat> yeah, we do. Uh, we just, we get, of course, we get walk-ins, right? That's that's a, a large portion of our business or a significant portion. Mm -hmm. And then usually it's through um, just kind of word of mouth or advertising at the resort or in room or in the elevator, for example, or check-in. Mm -hmm. uh, people walk by the spa, want to be part of it, so stuff like that. Okay. Now, would it be easier if maybe you had that all in a centralized system where, yeah, they they could either call or they could walk in, but having it available for them to just maybe do it all online and you get an instant update when that happens. Yeah, or, yeah sure. You know, the stylists know, hey, okay, we have an appointment coming up. Let's prepare for that. Yeah, sure. That's a big piece, right? We want to get pre-arrival um, mm -hmm. bookings and then um, also be able to manage that while they're on property and then also follow the guest post-stay. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Okay. Um, now, do you know who your top performing stylists are? Um, we have an idea, right, based on if we get repeat guests or if people call up. Um, we'd like to look at, you know, tip percentage. We think that's an indicator as well, too. Maybe not the primary driver, but an indicator. Um, and then just really look at, you know, maybe have some kind of GSM score right, for post-massage, uh, to rate the massage therapist or something. Okay. That's kind of like a, you know, blue sky idea. Okay. Now, would you like to know a way to, to be able to identify those Oh, yeah, for sure, yeah. Stylus? It's strictly from the opportunity to help the business get better, right, not necessarily right. manage people up or out, but... Yeah, you. so they're able to see it even. I mean, the stylus, I'm sure that would help motivate them, would you yeah, think? Yeah, totally, yeah. They yeah, have a little competitive nature. In That's the always good, for sure. Um, and one last thing I want to cover is inventory. Are you in charge of managing the inventory? I mean, I have the responsibility for it. I have, I have the support person kind of okay. um, take the inventory itself physically and then just manage the, the, the ordering and the restocking. So, yeah. Now, is this a manual process? A bit, yeah. About how much time would you say that that takes you? Oh. Takes your support? Then, uh, I don't know, probably a couple hours a week. Okay. What do you think that they could be doing if they could save that couple hours and be able to help you in other ways? Think of new creative ways to, you know, to get people through the door, book appointments, follow up phone calls, um, quality control. I mean, a lot of different things. Definitely. Okay. Well, we talked about a couple different things. I just want to wrap up and make sure I get a better understanding. I know efficiency is a huge thing for mm -hmm. you, um, and you want to be able to be organized and solve many different problems. Um, such as scheduling appointments, saving time with that. We talked about um, inventory, um, having walk-ins and being able to fit them all in and know when they're coming. Also, you mentioned you have that middle of the day time. That's something that maybe we want to fill that gap. Mm -hmm. Is there anything so, else? There's some additional space? concerns, right? Because you know we're in Cuba, right? And okay. so Malia's got a good presence in Cuba, but I think we're mm -hmm. subject to the infrastructure of the island and the government. So internet connectivity is a big okay. challenge, right? Um, so I think that's something that's got to be addressed. Uh, second thing is security. Uh, with internet um, provider and service being shady at times and kind of the, uh, the deviant behaviors we encounter sometimes, we really want to be you know, on the forefront of protecting our guests' data and integrity, like credit card information, personal address, any of that stuff. Okay. So that, that's what makes me nervous about the, the, a solution like this and getting away from what we do now. Definitely. Um, what credit card company do you use now? Oh, uh, no, we have a merchant ID, I think with Chase or something. Okay, so you do use Chase already. We do as well. Okay, definitely. Well, I want to address that concern. Um, and so I'm going to go into a little bit, tell you more about sure, our product, right, yeah. and hopefully we can talk about all these things further. Um, <coughs> are you familiar with Neil TSP at all? A little bit, not much. Okay. Right, a little background information. All right, so like you may have researched, we've been around for about 65 years. 
and Neil TSB is two different companies that have merged together, um, the Neil Corporation and the Salon People. Um, we've decided to combine our expertise and our resources so that we can better serve our customers and salons just like you. Um, as far as Salon Biz goes, this is we were the first in the industry to create a software management system. We've been around for about 30 years with this. Each year we continually grow and do updates and perfect it every, you know, more and more each year. Um, and so it's really important to us. Education is probably one of the most important things to us as a company. We know that this industry is, com is always changing. There's always new things. You always have to stay on top and it's very competitive. So we like to be able to continuously educate our salons and spas and help them grow and be efficient. Um, so I wanted to go ahead and talk about some of the things that you mentioned were important to you. So you mentioned that, um, you know, internet and connectivity and that security is something that, you know, you want to, that's important, okay? Yep. Um, one thing about us is it's cloud-based. So you can, it's, you can log in from anywhere on any browser at any time. But it, you, the management, and the stylist are the only ones that have access to this. You get a login information, a password that you set, and you are the only one that can log into it. Now on the customer side, the way that they get contact with this is either when you hand them their these tablets, so they can work on it from sitting at the desk, or they can schedule appointments from their room online. Okay, um, setting up is very simple. We know that you want it, you don't want to waste a lot of time. You're experiencing this influx probably already, or if not, right around the corner. So we want to save you a lot of time and money and set it up quickly. Um, we get, we can either come out personally and help everybody train, takes Great, a day or yeah. less, or you can watch it on videos and tutorials if you want to do that yourself. Another thing that we talked about is um, your inventory. You mentioned that inventory right now is a manual process. Yes, this is a big piece for us. Yes. This inventory that we have here is going to be able to know which products are really selling, flying off the shelves, and which ones aren't. So you're not overstocking or understocking anything. For example, um, you know, you have a shampoo that everybody just loves and it's hard to keep track of it when it's going to be gone. And customers come in sometimes and they want to use it right away. Mm -hmm. So you definitely don't want to run out of that product and it tells you, we know already with the click of a button how much and when it's going to get to you. Um, so we can track that for you and so nobody has to do that manually anymore. We can save that support staff a lot of time so that they can help you with your needs. That's great. Okay. Another thing that we talked about um, was scheduling. Um, okay. Let's see. Um, so we have our scheduling and online booking. Um, this is all, like I said, from either your tablet, the computer, or um, the smartphones. Um, so this is live and in real time. Anytime you get an update, anytime a customer schedules an appointment, or anytime there is a schedule change with one of your employees, you get an automatic update go sh going straight to your tablet, wherever you are. And Will the customer get an update, like the massage therapist is running late, backed up on appointments or something, right? Yeah, that's yeah. a great question. Um, what will happen on their end, depending how they schedule their appointment, um, I believe that if they schedule their appointment through email or maybe through your online website, you will have their contact information and we'll be able to shoot them an email right away saying, this stylist is running a little bit late. Um, or the stylist will also have all their contact information and if the stylist wants to maybe give them a call and let them know, that's also another sure. option. Um, something else that you mentioned was um, maybe being able to track your uh, performance of your top performing mm -hmm. stylists. Um, you know, right now you don't really have a way besides word of mouth to track that. One thing that's really awesome about our system is it allows you to track versus the goals that you set for them. So you can see which stylists are performing and which ones aren't. Um, it'll tell you that this one is giving you a lot of revenue versus mm -hmm. the ones that aren't. Sort of a trend too. Yes. Yeah. Also, one thing that's really nice about this is there's another way that you can 
view, um, it unfortunately doesn't show right here in this picture, but there's a way you can also view any customer reviews or anything that, That's great. that people post on social media. Yeah, like TripAdvisor or Yelp. Yeah, yeah. It'll, it'll come up on that uh, stylist so that you can see that. Awesome. Um, and that's also real time for your stylist too. I mean, they would love to know when something's nice said about Hopefully, them. Hopefully, right? Yeah. Right. Well, this is good. Definitely. Um, and then the last thing was, you know, connect connectivity and being able to get inter good internet connection. I think that's our biggest concern. And we do get that question a lot. Um, you know, let's see here. Um, you don't really have to have any specific hardware or software for this. Um, basically, if you have a running computer, that'll do the job. It's a very simple app that we have, and it's installed using either Firefox, Google Chrome, any modern web browser, and you should be able to use it. As far as the smartphones go, we have an app for it. Um, and, and so it's, it is really fairly simple. Now, do you have internet connection in the salon? Yeah, yeah, it's just it's spotty sometimes. Okay. Right, could be out during the night or something happens or a lot of people jump on the internet and the bandwidth slows down tremendously. Right, yeah, I completely understand. Um, you know, one of our other um, salons had that concern too. Um, they were in, you know, a big facility with a bunch of different uh, businesses surrounding them. And so they had that concern too, you know, knowing if they were going to get the connectivity right away. And they, they said that they never had a problem at all. It was constantly up to date all the time. Um, and so that kind of solved their issue. That's good. That addressed that concern. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I guess the final thing we want to go through is um, pricing. I'm sure you're, you're wanting to know how much you know, it's going to cost you, price, right? right? It sounds expensive. I mean, you get a lot of... Yeah. Um, you get a lot of uh, add-ons and, and cool little perks and benefits, and I know that when you start adding iterations and components, the price mm -hmm. goes up dramatically. Yeah, right, and so I that, understand. That's what concerns me. One nice thing is that all of these that we talked about today are no add-ons or anything. It all mm -hmm. comes with your prescript, your subscription. Um, and actually, when we kind of do something that's nice on the side, which is completely free, is that we handle any backups or updates that need to be done that's on great. your end. So as you're continually growing, maybe you're adding more stylists or you're adding new customers to your system, we continually, we continually do the updates for you and you never have to worry about it slowing down or backing up. We do it all from our end. So based on what you mentioned, you said you have about 10 employees, mm -hmm. um, 8 to 10, fairly. That's probably going to be our most standard subscription, which is going to cost you about $149 a month. That comes down to about $0.33 cents a day per employee. Well, wow, that's great. Do you think that's something yeah, that you could fit in your that's budget? Very fair, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll we'll talk to Raphael and, and see what he says. Alrighty, great. Um, yeah, speaking of which, I wanted to be able to also show you maybe at our next meeting a demo to have you guys be hands on with the product and see yeah. how easy it's really going to be. That'd be great. I mean, the user interface is key, right? Yes, it is. And so, if it was at all possible, I'd love to be able to do a Skype maybe next week with both of you. Raphael's flying here next week, so he's going to meet me here Tuesday. Oh, no way. Yeah, we're going to go check out a comp competition. So Well, perfect timing. Um, I'd love to be able to sit down with you guys again in a similar setting like this, and we'll be able to work through everything, have any more further questions about maneuvering through the website. That sounds really good. Yeah. Okay, great. So I'll, I'll call and set some time up with you, and then um, we'll meet maybe next Tuesday or Wednesday. All right, I would really enjoy yeah. that. Yeah. Okay, sounds great. Thank you so Thanks much, Nikki. It was nice it. meeting you.